Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. This video I'm going to talk about some games I recently got from Play Asia recently and I thought these games would be good to tell you guys about because I don't think a lot of people actually know about them yet so I just kind of wanted to introduce them to you guys. You guys know my channel I try to bring like um, new information to you guys and I think these games will be some good titles that you guys might be interested in and also uh, for all you crazies out there the, mostly these are Switch titles so let's get right into it. Cladra's Blaze, I actually talked about it on my channel uh, about a couple years ago, and now it's uh, been ported to the Switch uh, as a physical, of course. The game is in English, and it has all the same options that the other games had on it. Um, I'm not going to do a really a review on this game, but I just want to kind of overview it again real fast. Um, this is probably, I want to say, one of my top 10 favorite shooters out there. Um, it is not really what I would call a bullet hell. I, I would maybe call it a bullet hell when you get to the bosses in the game. But the game is just pretty much just like really good shoot 'em up. Like I really, I would say, uh, evolution of shooters, at least in, in my opinion. What I like about the game, aside from the gorgeous graphics, is that each character that you pick in the game, they have their own set of moves pretty much. They have their regular bullets and they have like three elemental moves that you could kind of like uh, charge up. Well, not charge up, but they charge, they recharge after you use them for a while and you can level those moves up. It's, it, I think it's better than like in other shoot 'em up games where you have to like shoot items and then try to grab the upgrade. You already have uh, all your weapons at, in your arsenal, so that, I think that's a good thing. Back when I first started doing live streams on my channel, this was the game, uh, well at least the shoot 'em up game I played the most. I would almost play this game every other day because I just had such a good time with it. You know, this is a definitely this is definitely a, a good shooter that I think people could get started with if you want to kind of uh, dip your toe in the shoot 'em ups. I was kind of surprised that this game didn't come out to America. Um, I thought it would have. Um, the other game that the, the company created, the, the, the company created is called Moss. They actually released Raiden 5 here in America on the PS4 and on the Switch as well. I'm just surprised that this one didn't come out over here. But either way, it's out on Play Asia. The game is in English and it comes with a little tin sleeve in it too. It doesn't come with a manual, unfortunately, but you know, that's kind of like the what happens these days when it comes to these newer games. So is this game like worth having on the Switch? Uh, I definitely think so. You know, um, you guys know I love the physicals, and I just I think this is a very unique game. Now I won't say that about all shoot 'em ups, but this game is definitely I say say one of the top tiers of shoot 'em ups. It's an evolution of what I would want to see in a shoot 'em up game these days uh, compared to like certain other games back in the day. But I will leave that up to you guys to decide. Uh, for those of you that played this game, uh, let me know in the comments what you think about this game. Uh, is it one of your favorites? Is it one you don't really like that much? Let me know in the comments because I'm interested in hearing what you guys think about this one because I don't know uh, too many people that talk about this game except for my buddy George. But anyways guys, uh, I'm going to leave you with some gameplay and then we'll take a look at the next game. If you play games like Cybernator, which is an awesome game, even uh, Front Mission Gun Hazard on the Super Famicom, um, very good game as well. And uh, also Assault Suit Lanos uh, actually got a remaster on the PS4, really good game. If you like those games, you'll definitely like Gigantic Army. First, I want to give a shout out to my buddy John Houston for letting me know about this game. Um, I had no idea that this game was coming out, and uh, I'm happy he told me about it. So thanks a lot, John. I appreciate you, bro. So as you guys can see, Gigantic Army is a running gun game, uh, just like the previous three games I just showed you. And um, I think it's really fun. Uh, what I noticed about this game is that you have to kind of like shoot boxes to get more time. So when time runs out, the mission is over. So you want to keep a lot of time uh, so you can finish the levels. I haven't run into an issue with that. You know, it seems like there's you get plenty of time. 
but the game's a lot of fun. One thing I noticed about this game too is I like the backgrounds a lot. I know you gotta pay attention to the front ground and everything, but looking at the backgrounds is really nice too and it really helps with the experience. So about your weaponry in this game, you have a melee attack that you do when enemies get close pretty much. And also you have a gun and it kind of, it, it's like a spread shot. You get power ups for it pretty much. Um, but there's another weapon you could choose uh, in the beginning of the game as well. You also have your missile launcher, which is like a spread shot. Um, really helps you with boss situations and like when enemies kind of swarm you pretty much. So you want to kind of save those and say, like for, you know, it, like I would say just really crazy situations. You don't want to use it all in the beginning because you'll kind of get stuck on a boss later if you're only using that spread shot. And it can take a long time to, to kill enemies sometimes. Now the game does have a story mode, but it's told like at the beginning of the levels um, through like white text pretty much. It's it's not anything you really, uh, I, I don't think most people will care about, but it's I, it's there if you want to, if you care about it. But most people will be into the gameplay um, story mode. I can't really tell you what it's about because I actually skipped through it. I just wanted to get to the gameplay. Uh, usually when it comes to story with these type of games, I like to have like a little dialogue during the levels, like between characters, like a little icon of them, kind of talking like in the other games, like Cybernator or Front Mission. Uh, that kind of makes me, like makes a compelling story for me a little bit. But this game doesn't seem to have that, so um, your story is going to be, like I said, at the beginning of the levels, and uh, you have to read through a lot of text. Alright guys, so uh, let me know what you think of Gigantic Attack. I think it's an awesome game, definitely think it's worth owning. Uh, it's a lot of fun, no slowdown, lots of good action. Um, and these are the type of titles that I think are really going to shine on the Switch, you know. I'm not sure if this game will like really stand out on the PS4 or Xbox One, but put a game like this on the Switch and people will notice it. So next up we have Ghost 1.0. Now a little bit of history about this game. Unfortunately, I hate to say this in the video, um, but the Switch version is actually sold out. So um, the only one that's left right now is the PS4 version if you want to get a physical for this game from Play Asia, because they're the ones that published this game. This game was made by the same creators who made the game Unepic. I actually did a break in the seal on that almost maybe two, three years ago maybe. Um, but I think this is a better game. Uh, this is a Metroidvania game, and now we're going to take a look at the gameplay. One thing I want to point out about this game right away, it has a lot of dialogue uh, during your mission, and which is a good thing actually. Um, it shows the creators actually like they wanted to add like a, a lot of good story into the game. I don't want to tell you too much of the story, and I don't really know too much what it's about yet because I'm still in the early stages of the game. But I think the people who developed the game really got some good voice actors in this game, so it really feels compelling, and you like you're, you want to pay attention to what they're saying. So uh, that's definitely a good point in the game. Now, with this being a Metroidvania, there's not a lot of Metroidvania games I can remember on top of my head that you know gives you a 360 motion where you can aim uh, your weapon wherever you want to aim in this game. So I think that's a cool feature. And also in this game, you can actually leave uh, your body and possess other bodies to help you get through certain puzzles in the game. So that's a pretty unique feature. You'll have to utilize that a lot in the later stages of this game. But the game uh, prepares you for early on with simple tasks of just like opening doors, possessing robots, opening doors and things like that. But you can actually possess other robots to fight battles for you so you don't take damage. So uh, there's one section in the game where there was a bunch of robots at the bottom and there's a big turret at the top that was trying to like uh, would have attacked me if I jumped down there. All I did was possess one of the robots and it started the fight and um, it saved me a lot of trouble from uh, um, like losing a lot of health or trying to dodge a lot of enemies at the time. What the hell? The door is open. But that's all I got for you on Ghost 1.0. I'm still going through it. Uh, I think I have a lot more to do. It is fun and compelling. Uh, I think it's going to be a good experience. But let me know what you guys think of this game, if any of you have played it. Uh, like I said, the P as of this video, the PS4 version is still available from PlayAsia. And it comes with a soundtrack, uh, a card, a signature card and uh, manual so always a good thing so play asia actually gave me a coupon code to give you guys when you guys want to make purchases from their website uh i looked at the coupon code and i actually thought it was a 10 percent, but it was five percent so i was like wow okay but <laughs> if you guys decide you want to buy something from play asia and you want to use my coupon code i would appreciate it i was hoping that they actually would uh, make it 10 percent i mean that would at least cover tax but I don't know what's going on. A lot of their stuff is pretty cheap anyways, so maybe it'll work out. But anyways, guys, that's all I got for you. Radical Reggie, 
and I will see you guys in the next video.